welcome back to Intentful Spaces, finally getting the office makeover video up for you all. I am doing it in two parts, so this is going to be the construction of it, and the next one will be coming up, and that'll be kind of like setting it up and styling it and getting everything organized. So now I'm just going to show you the beginning mess that we're dealing with. There was so much clutter in here. I had packed up the office from upstairs before we did the renovations upstairs and just kind of boxed everything up that was going to be going in this room, and it's just sort of kind of stayed stagnant in this kind of uh, state for quite a while and more and more clutter has just kind of piled up in here waiting for all the organization to be done. I had ordered some cabinets from Lowe's and picked those up, went to Home Depot and got the desktop wood cut down to the size I wanted and picked up some boards for the shelves, ordered brackets for the shelves on Amazon. And now I'm just going through the garage and finding my materials. I'm going to use some cabinet door and trim paint to paint the cabinets and using a foam roller to do that. That works best for painting the cabinets. And then just going to use this Gorilla wood glue to uh, adhere the panels on the side of the cabinets that are going to be showing. So to start, I need to go ahead and just back my van out of the garage and then I'm going to use the blower and make sure all the like dust and leaves are out of here so they're not sticking to my boards while I get them all stained and prepared to assemble the office. I'm using my Ryobi electric sander to smooth out the edges where they made the cuts at Home Depot where it kind of splintered and it's a really nice quality birch board so I am not going to sand the whole top and back of it because it's already pretty smooth but I did want to make sure to make these edges look a little cleaner. These two planks I'll be using to install some shelving over the desk and so I'm going to go ahead and sand these ones because they were pretty rough. It was really challenging finding some good looking boards in this size there with the quality of wood that was available but these are the best I could find and they're not perfectly straight but I'm hoping over time as all the stuff is sitting on the shelves they will level out eventually but this was the best I could get and I'm just going to work with it. Got all of the wood sanded and now I'm just making sure and wiping it all down nice and clean with a damp cloth. And these are my supplies that I'll be using. As I said, the foam rollers work best for painting the cabinets and also I'm going to be using that to stain the wood. This is the stain I am using, the dark walnut, and I am not going to end up putting any kind of sealant on there. I kind of like the feel and look of just a natural wood and having it exposed. And then there's the cabinet door and trim paint and the wood glue. And I love to use those um, angled brushes. So I've got one of those to use as well in a small paint tray. So just kind of give you an overview of the supplies I'll be using. There's a couple things there I ended up not using. So like I said, said there was a varnish but I am not going to seal the wood I'm just staining it so getting everything lifted up on some boards so that I can go ahead and get to work without having any kind of pooling happening that's going to leave the stain looking uneven if it was directly in contact with the cloth so putting them up on boards like that is going to make sure that any drips just kind of go to the cloth and not hang out on the board too long and just going to quickly get this applied once I get it on there I want to keep working with it while it's still wet to make sure it's an even even coverage. I know at the lighting at this angle you couldn't really see me staining it but I will change the angle here soon and you'll be able to see the satisfaction of the stain going onto the wood. 
I ended up doing about three coats of stain on these and I did a little bit of light sanding at the end. Um, I ended up with an issue using this old can of stain that I had had in the garage. At the bottom it had like settled and it was really dark so I ended up having to switch to another stain I had on hand but it was close enough and it ended up looking great in the end but this whole process is never as smooth as it looks in these videos so there's a lot that gets left out to just cut it down and make a week's worth of work fit into 20 minutes so just keep that in mind that these projects never go as smooth as it appears in these videos be nice if they did though so here's a nice satisfying shot of applying the stain and I just keep working it until it absorbs while it's wet and then I want to keep working it through the board so that you don't see a line where I I'm like doing the next section. So once I get started, I gotta go at it really quick. We live in Phoenix, Arizona, and it's quite dry here. And this wood just soaks this stain up so fast. So I just had to make quick work out of this whole process, but it's very satisfying. All right, I got the first coat soaking in. I'm just gonna bag this up so that it doesn't dry out and I'm gonna leave this fan right here on this and gonna go work on something else for a little while until I can come back and throw on another coat of the stain. Now I'm inside in the actual office area. I need to start clearing things out to make space to start working on the cabinets. I need to get the side panels on there and then also get the paint going on that so that all this stuff can have time to dry before we assemble the whole office. So as you can see, there is a corner on the panel that is kind of protruding where it doesn't line up with the shape of the actual cabinet. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get these on as is, and then later, once everything has dried and set, I'm gonna have my husband make a cut so that it's all flush with the actual cabinet and not sticking out like that. So as I was saying, this process took over a week to do it was a lot of work and I had to commit a lot of time and effort to doing all of this so I think we're on the next day now I am wearing the same pants because these are my working pants so that I don't get paint on my other clothes or glue or stain or anything else but this is another day and I am now doing the other side now that those ones have had enough time to dry and I was trying to make sure and get everything prepped and ready so that when my husband was off on the weekend that I'd have everything ready to go with his help. So I wanted to make sure to be able to utilize that time when he was home with his help. And if I didn't get all this done, I was going to be stuck doing it all entirely by myself because I would not have had the patience to wait another week for him to be off from work. So I just really gave it my all. And in between all of the rest of the mom stuff I need to do and all of the regular housekeeping and laundry and dishes and making dinner and pickups and drop offs and all of that, I was working on this. So I did myself in. I think that's kind of why I hit a bit of burnout once I got this all finished because I just didn't even have it in me to get this video edited and posted until about now. Plus, everybody has been getting sick and I'm sure you, a lot of you can relate to this. I have a preschooler and a kindergartner and a high schooler and I feel like they are just bringing home so many germs from school. Luckily, it's nothing too serious. Everything's been really mild. I just feel like once somebody gets it, then everybody gets it and by the time we're all done with it, then the next thing's coming in and I mean, it's just been a little exhausting keeping up with all of that plus everything else going on in life. So I just really needed to take a step back from the channel for a little while and rest and take care of everybody 
ready and everything and just kind of recalibrate myself. But I'm excited to jump back in again. Hopefully, you know, we're kind of through most of the sick season at this point now that all the germs have been passed around, I'm thinking. So also, in addition to that, I've just been really prioritizing having a little bit of downtime when I'm just filling every little gap in life. It just completely depletes me. I'm somebody who likes to sit and read books and meditate and go on long walks and hikes. And I feel like when I'm just trying to cram so much in the day, a lot of my self care just gets kind of pushed off the back burner and it's not good for me or my family. So I needed to make sure and not spend every inch of time I have available working on videos and actually take some time to take care of myself. So that has been nice. And as always, I always appreciate all of you who check in on me when I'm not showing up and also understand and are patient with me when I'm not posting. I appreciate it so much that you all continue to be here and watching my videos and supporting me. And I am just so happy to finally be getting this video edited and up for you all. So as you can see, I am just speed painting a coat of white paint on these cabinets. I, like I said, I got these from Lowe's. This is cabinet door and trim paint. Putting one coat on, I think I ended up putting a total of three, but I'm only going to show you the first coat because it's kind of boring just watching paint dry and me painting white on white. So sped this up super fast and they look amazing. These are the exact same cabinets that are in our kitchen and it's the exact same paint I used when I did the cabinets in our kitchen so it's a very cohesive look because the office literally is sharing a wall with the kitchen so when in real life we're moving around in the house um, it's just nice that there's a nice cohesive look to the cabinet so that it's not something different and it's got that really custom built-in look to it so I'm really excited to just finally show you guys the office and get back to making my regular cleaning videos All right, gonna let that sit and dry for a little bit before I come back in and hit it with a second coat. So now I'm gonna head back out to the garage and I'm gonna do a little bit of light sanding on this. One of the reasons why is I wanted to kind of smooth out that sticky feeling of the stain that was on there and I used old stain and I probably should have just got a fresh can when I was doing this project but also because I had to switch colors um, one of them was slightly a little bit darker than the other and I just also wanted to have like a nice clean smooth feel to the top of here once I got all the stain on so just gonna go ahead and like I said did some light sanding and then I cleaned it up real good with a damp cloth just a wet microfiber towel to make sure that all the dust was off of there and it was real smooth and nothing was snagging or catching and now I'm gonna go over it with a little bit of just straight olive oil from the kitchen this is gonna even out the look of the wood and also moisturize it and just kind of add a little bit of a protective layer on there as well and I just wipe it in real good with the cloth so that it soaks into the wood moisturizing it but also so I didn't have a whole lot of oil residue left over I'm gonna go back over with some dry towels in a bit and wipe off any remaining once I let it soak in for a little bit and I'm just continuing that same process on the remaining boards
So now the wood for the desktop and the shelves are completely done and I'm going to just let them sit there for a little bit and soak in that oil and now I'm moving back into the office room. I'm going to reattach the doors to the cabinets and put the drawers in and then start clearing the space out so that we can get everything installed. As I had mentioned earlier, those corners needed to be cut off of the side panels. And then also we need to put the toe kick on here. So I just bought this from Lowe's. It's just a long strip. And I think I painted it white myself. It may have come white. I can't remember now. This <laughs> whole process was a lot. So he's just cutting it down to size. And then we're using that same wood glue to attach it right there where it needs to go with the toe kick so that it all looks clean and finished. Got some things shifted around in here and then the area that we're going to be installing the desk is all cleared out gonna run the vacuum and then he is going to be measuring out where the cabinets going to go and then he'll be cutting away the baseboard so that the cabinet fits flush against the wall And now that the cabinet is in place, he's just going to put some screws to the back of it to attach it to the wall. These cabinets, they actually keep in stock at Lowe's, so you can literally just go in the store and pick them up. I fit all three of these in the back of my van, so it's not a hard project to do. 
And these ones came unfinished, so I was able to just paint them that same white that we used in the kitchen, but you could literally paint them any color that you want. I've seen a lot of people doing like that grayish green color that looks really good, also gray. So there's so much you could actually do with something like this. Having like this built-in desk here has just been so amazing. Having a his and hers spot that we can actually get our work done and having it at the counter height has been really nice. So it's kind of like a standing desk. I can just walk up to it and work at it or we can sit on our drafting size like we got office chairs that are like the drafting height so they go up high enough to be able to sit at this desk and I also like that because of the height the kids have to kind of reach to get to it so I don't have them all over my space while I'm trying to work so I mean they can obviously come up to my desk but it's not like low where they can be like grabbing at things or trying to play on the desk while I'm working so it's just been a very win-win situation all the way across the board my husband absolutely loves having his own little spot in here now and we can work side by side which is pleasant when we are both trying to get some stuff done The cabinets are now installed and they are measured out evenly there so that our chairs fit perfectly in between them. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the desktops on now. I am using two sections of board because they did not have one long enough that I would like to use for this. So I needed to just cut it out of two pieces. So I had it measured down so that the split would be directly in the middle. And once everything is placed on the desk, you can't even tell that it is split there. And I am not going to actually attach them to the cabinets because I want to be able to shift them back and forth when I need to like run cords and stuff back there and also if any kind of markings or damage happen then I can easily just get it sanded down in the garage and put it right back so got the desktops all clean with some wood cleaner and now I'm just gonna go ahead and unwrap all of the brackets so that I can start to install the shelving above the desk as mentioned before, those brackets I ordered on Amazon. It's just a matte black modern look, and I will try to remember to put all the links of everything I can in the description box below, but also I have an Amazon shop. You can always go there, and I try to keep as much linked in that shop as I possibly can. And that way, if there's anything that you see in my home or anything that I'm using, you can go check that shop. And if it has a link for Amazon, I try to make sure that it's always just linked there so you have one spot to go to look for things. And if there is anything you want links for that I didn't put links in, just let me know and I will do my best to find them. So these are the same brackets I used in the yoga room upstairs. So if you saw that makeover video, then you've already seen the style of bracket. I love it so much. I love that like clean, minimal look that it has. And we did do measurements of where all the brackets needed to go and put the markings on the wall. And as much of a perfectionist my husband is, he did the math wrong and we ended up having to go back and move a couple of the brackets just a little bit. It was not a big deal, but um, he put so much emphasis on everything being so perfect with the level and checking and double checking everything. But one little mistake like that and things can go wrong, but that is how projects are. So like I said, these videos, it's hours and hours and hours of footage that's just edited down to 20 30 minutes and it makes it look so simple but it was a lot of work and it has taken me a long time to get this video edited because there were so many hours of footage so here is us realizing that the math was off and simple adjustment we just had to move a couple of the brackets and get it into place so i was redoing the math figuring out where things went wrong and what it actually needed to be and then he went ahead and corrected it and you might see the kids coming in and out of this room in the meantime i'm also like taking care of the kids giving them dinner getting them ready for bed and all the other things that i gotta do day to day while this is going on so i was glad to utilize as much of his help when he was home on the weekend as i possibly could So now one of the final touches, we just got to put the board up on the shelf. And as I mentioned before, they're not perfectly straight. They're a little bit bowed, but this was the best I could find. So we're going to go ahead and just put some weights on there to kind of help it settle. And over time with everything being on the shelves, I'm sure they will settle just fine. But this felt really good to finally hit this moment after so much work to finally just have everything installed and in place doing a final wipe down and then my husband is going to start putting the office chairs together. 
after quite a while of going through all of the chairs on Amazon, I decided on these two. They are like your standard office chair, but they are the drafting table height. So they go up high enough for this standing style desk and they adjust up and down as we need them. And then also the armrests go up and down so we can push those out of the way. And overall, just really love the chairs. We got two of them, a his and hers, and it's pretty simple to put together. I mean, I had him do it. There was a lot of little pieces and parts, but it seemed to be easy enough. He's got the first chair put together and just testing it out there. And now there's just one more to put together. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that off camera. It was the exact same process as the first one. And now I'm going to add this matte black hardware to the cabinets. This is the same kind I used in the kitchen. It was cheaper to buy a lot of them than it was to get is the few of them. So I ended up with a lot of leftover when I did the kitchen. So I'm just using some that I already had to put in here and just gonna measure it out, level it out, make sure everything's on there nice and perfect. This is the next day and my husband was still around so I decided to go ahead and let him install the hardware onto the cabinets but I'm gonna go ahead and continue measuring everything out so that all he has to do is drill it and screw it on. hardware is on and he is finishing the second chair and now the whole desk installation is complete so here it is final part of this stage and I will be coming back with a part two that I'm going to go ahead and get everything set up and style it so just wanted to get this part up first because this would have been like an hour-long video if I tried to put it all into one it was kind of hard to cut it down as is so this room is the front room when you walk into the house and then if you walk through this room it takes you right to the great room the kitchen living room area the stairs are also attached to this room it's just on the other side there so if you've been with my channel for a while this was my old yoga room and i don't show it a whole lot in videos and since we did the renovation upstairs and I now have a yoga room upstairs that actually has a door attached because it's kind of hard to have that peaceful space when it is like the entry room of the house and there's so much traffic going through it. So now the yoga room is upstairs with a door. And now this room we wanted to make into the office whereas before the office was upstairs and it just kind of wasn't working out for us there. And we do really like having an office in the main living area of the house. So it makes it really easy to approach the desk and get to work and also kind of toggle back and forth between everyday life things we need to do and getting our work done. And also this way we can all kind of be invited to the desk space when the kids need to work on their homework or anyone has anything they need to do. It's a nice comfortable space for anyone to approach. So I'm very happy to finally now have an office space in the house that is functional and working for us. I'm trying to show you this is what we see coming down the stairs. There is a few spots on the wall. I patched some holes and need to touch up the paint and I am going to finish the other part of this room when I do the styling and then showing you here from the front door when you walk in this is what you see so it's just kind of got a really cool impact when you walk in the house when it was all pulled together so anyways very happy with how it turned out I'm really excited to bring part two to you so that you can see how it looks all finished and make sure you're subscribed if you're new to my channel. Hit like if you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment down below. Um, leave me uh, some kind of office emoji, I guess, if you made it all the way here to the end. And as always, thank you all so much for being here.